Video game developers usually have a specialty that they're known for. NetherRealm Studios love their fighting games, Bloober Team produce only horror, and Larian Studios have specialized in fantasy RPG. But sometimes developers take a risk and branch out of their established genres. While some are not so successful, others manage to produce amazing games, making genre hopping look effortless and establish themselves as some kind of masterful chameleons of gaming. Welcome to Hotfix Gaming. I'm Joy. Today, we're looking at 10 such game developers who have dared to break their established mold and be successful in multiple genres. So, let's get started. 10. Epic Games Epic Games is quite a well-known studio, having developed Unreal Engine, which is used by many to create video games. But Epic also developed the early Gears of War games that define a third-person shooter cover system, as well as the mobile game series Infinity Blade, the FPS shooter Unreal Tournament, and the Metroidvania Shadow Complex. If none of these games ring a bell, don't worry, Epic Games also have an ace up their sleeve. Fortnite. That's right, the developers of the first Gears of War games are also responsible for the most well-known battle royale game out there, as well as its variations. Number 9. Tango Gameworks Tango Gameworks started off as a studio trying to build a new brand of survival horror called The Evil Within. The first two games in this series have been quite successful, with many fans eagerly anticipating the studio's next horror game follow-up. But that turned out to be Ghostwire Tokyo, a paranormal FPS action-adventure where you can cast spells from your hands. And the title after that was definitely not something people were expecting from the studio either. Hi-Fi Rush was a unique third-person cyberpunk rhythm game with anime-style art direction and platforming mechanics. Number 8. Rare Back in the 90s, Rare had a reputation for being an unstoppable developer, responsible for some of the N64's most beloved and critically acclaimed titles, such as Banjo-Kazooie and Goldeneye. Later on, Microsoft acquired them and their role was relegated mostly to connect based sports games that weren't well received. But Rare has since managed to claw back their reputation with Sea of Thieves, an online pirate game that won over players who are looking to sail the seven seas with their friends. Number 7. Sucker Punch Sucker Punch has made a name for themselves on the PS2 with the Sly Cooper series, which combined two genres popular at the time, 3D platformer and stealth games. They've managed to combine these two to superb effect, and since then they've done a great job at reinventing themselves with each generation of PlayStation. On the PS3, they shifted their attention and efforts to the chaotic superhero open-world action of the infamous games, and later on on the PS4, they eventually took the open-world formula and built a samurai game with methodical combat and stealth, called Ghost of Tsushima. Sucker Punch is clearly not interested in sticking too long in one place, or in this case, a genre. Number 6. Remedy Entertainment Sam Lake is one of the most creative and unpredictable writers in the industry. You can never know what idea will spawn from him next. He's been building worlds for Remedy since its founding, and his work spans vehicular combat with Death Rally, gritty DC-style graphic novel Detective Noir with Max Payne, episodic Twin Peaks horror with Alan Wake, sci-fi Metroidvania with Control, and jump-scare survival horror and live-action musical with Alan Wake 2. What all these games have in common, however, is that they may certainly not be every gamer's cup of tea. Remedy has quite a mixed bag of launches, not to mention its Xbox exclusive, Quantum Break, which follows a similar pattern of mind-bending gameplay and story elements woven together with live-action sequences. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that like button as it helps our channel grow. Number 5. Eidos Montreal Eidos Montreal is part of the larger Eidos Interactive Company under Square Enix, but the Montreal studio has one of the most interesting project libraries. Collectively, it helped revive and continue iconic series like Thief and Deus Ex, while taking over for the final Shadow of the Tomb Raider from Crystal Dynamics and launching a Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy game. These four are very different games, with totally different gameplay mechanics, settings, and playstyles, yet the studio made each one seem masterful. Thief is all first-person Victorian Gothic stealth, Deus Ex is a combination of FPS, stealth, and dystopian cyberpunk RPG, Shadow is the most open-world Tomb Raider game, and Guardians of the Galaxy is comedic, soundtrack-driven, squad-based with souls-like boss fights, and has choice-based gameplay. Number 4. Insomniac a Sony studio, Insomniac proved themselves early on as masters of the 3D platformer genre with Spyro the Dragon series on the PS1. On the PS2, they added third-person shooter elements to the genre and created Ratchet & Clank, a series that persists to this day with its most recent PS5 installment, Rift Apart. 
But that's not all. During the PS3 era, Insomniac managed to successfully create the horror-themed first-person shooters that are part of the Resistance series. In recent years, the developers have been deeply involved with open-world superhero games thanks to Spider-Man on the PS4. With more Marvel games on the way and a continued interest in Ratchet & Clank, it's clear they want to stay known as a studio that has a diverse catalogue of games. Number 3. Nintendo Nintendo's internal studios are known for producing a ton of high-quality games and some of the most iconic franchises in gaming. They also produce a wide range of game types, from Mario titles to the Zelda series. Titles like Star Fox and Pikmin have also seen them branch out into real shooters and real-time strategy too, always with a unique Nintendo twist. While most of the differing series come from different teams within the company, the super chill Animal Crossing series and the fast-paced shooter Splatoon are developed by the same team, proving that even within the same team, Nintendo is capable of producing a wide range of games. Number 2. Naughty Dog Naughty Dog's evolution as a studio and video game storyteller is one of the most remarkable to witness. Even before its series of cartoony Crash Bandicoot platforming games that began in 1996, the studio was called Jam Software, releasing math games and obscure role-playing titles. Now Naughty Dog is recognized as having some of the most acclaimed, award-winning, story-driven, cinematic masterpieces in gaming, with the Uncharted series and The Last of Us Part 1 and 2. The scripts and performances transcend into Oscar-worthy ones, and The Last of Us Part 2 has also outdone itself with the stealth and survival horror aspects. Number 1. Capcom Capcom's internal teams have not only produced games in a vast range of genres, but they've also somehow managed to make many of them some of the most iconic franchises ever. Two of these are even genre-defining. Street Fighter has served as the basis for all fighting games that followed it, while Resident Evil defined and even named the entire survival horror genre. It doesn't stop there, though, as games like Devil May Cry, Monster Hunter, and Mega Man have all come from within Capcom, all of them beloved by many, and each of them in a completely different genre. With fighting games, survival horror, character action, action RPGs, and 2D platformers, it's clear that Capcom is a master at whatever they turn their attention to. Now that we have listed some of the most successful video game developers, we're curious to see where most of the games in your library come from. So let us know in the comments section below which developer is your favorite. And if you enjoy gaming content and want more, be sure to check out our top 10 most hilarious game glitches ever, as well as our top 10 most hyped video games that delivered. Both videos are linked on screen.